Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're at chapter 8 today, verses 20 through 23. Let me read it to you. Now the Lord said to Moses, Rise early in the morning and present yourself before Pharaoh as he comes out to the water, and say to him, Thus says the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you will not let my people go, behold, I will send swarms of flies on you and on your servants and on your people and into your houses, and the houses of the Egyptians will be full of swarms of flies and also the ground on which they dwell. But on that day I will set apart the land of Goshen, where my people are living, so that no swarms of flies will be there, in order that you may know that I, the Lord, am in the midst of the land. I will put a division between my people and your people. Tomorrow this sign will occur. So once again, uh, Moses meets Pharaoh by the water, and when Pharaoh's making his way over to the water and he sees Moses and Aaron again, he must have said to himself, oh no, not again, because this is how this all began, you know, with the first plague they met at the water. Kind of another interesting piece here, he doesn't introduce God as Yahweh, the, the God of the Hebrews, like he did at the beginning. Now he just says, Yahweh. Yes, Pharaoh knows exactly the person who's being spoken about now, and that additional information is no longer needed. So if the statement comes, let my people go, or this, or this, swarms of flies. Now, do you see the, the similarity? The other one back in the second plague was swarms of frogs. So now it's going to be swarms of flies. Also, did you notice this? It was often thought that gods kind of were in certain spaces, certain lands. This is the land of the Egyptians. These are the gods that prevail here. This is another land. These are the gods that prevail here. Each, each section's kind of got its god. But did you notice here in the text that God says, I want you to know that I am God in the land. Because, of course, the creator is in all lands, in all places. He is the creator, in fact, of the heavens and the earth, not just of uh, the local city. And Pharaoh is not just some kind of local deity or sub-deity that kind of holds sway over his geographical space. God holds sway over every geographical space. God has control wherever he chooses to exercise his control, and Egypt is not outside his control space. Did you notice here there's also another new element added? God will make a difference between the Egyptians and the Hebrews. This is new, or at least explicitly stated for the first time. This plague is not meant to harm God's own people. This one's going to be dealt with by the Egyptians explicitly. And notice also that God set the time. He says this is going to be tomorrow. So God has given Pharaoh the rest of the day, the night that's coming, and the next part of the next day. He's given him basically a day to think this all over. Like, do we really want to do the next step here? Think on it. <laughs> so that's what God has left Pharaoh with here. He has time to think, and he has opportunity to use the big R word. You know, you know what the big R word is, right? The big R word is repent. Okay? Pharaoh's got that opportunity. So let's see tomorrow what he does or doesn't do. May the blessings of God go with you through this day.